Do you have a tiny bathroom needing a facelift? Is your storage at a premium? And are you dreaming of old world cottage charm? This is the video for you. Today, we will kick off our cottage bathroom remodel series by sharing before pictures, discussing space and storage issues, and then pouring over a lovely inspiration board. friend if we haven't met I'm Rachel from the blog stonecottagehome.com where we cultivate the art of home like many of you we are predicted snow and ice in the days ahead what better time to jump into a remodel stick around to the end of the video and I will share with you the materials we are considering for this tiny cottage bathroom remodel Spoiler alert, this project began before I was taking video. I hope you enjoy my pictures and the footage as it begins to appear. Years ago, this was the original wallpaper in this bathroom when we first tackled it. So you're picking up on phase two of this bathroom remodel. Can you imagine how busy that was? Now let's peek inside this tiny bathroom. The first thing inside the door is this small vanity pushed into the corner with a little medicine cabinet above. In phase one, we removed the wallpaper, textured the walls, painted, and hung a simple frameless mirror. Here is our tiny stand-in shower. You can see how close that door is to the corner of the vanity cabinet. Beside the shower and over the toilet are these shallow glass shelves that complete the storage for our bathroom. I do like the look of the glass shelves. They're light and airy, but they are not very practical. And the shelf brackets are rather industrial. Now, I'll just say I was a housekeeper for many years and tile grout is not my friend. For the flooring in this bathroom, we would like to go with a tile that is much larger. Opposite the shelving, you see the medicine cabinet once again and a nicely sized window that lets in very welcome light, helping this space to feel larger. I'm thinking to frame this window and soften all the hard edges and angles by sewing a vintage linen curtain in the cottage style. Also, you can see my jewelry organizer on the back of the door. I'd like to come up with a better storage solution that looks a little tidier. Back to the shower. This area has the most need, the first being space. As you can see, the swing of the shower door will hit the corner of the vanity. We're hoping to improve this as we move some walls. Another space issue is this drop ceiling. It creates a confined, heavy feeling. So when we knock out the wall, we plan to raise this ceiling, creating a sense of height and space. Inside the shower, we have three issues. There is no storage for bottles. The shower head is right in your face. And we have loose and cracked tiles and a mold that won't quit. Now for some fun. Let's look for inspiration to solve these challenges in creative ways, as well as finding ideas for decorating this tiny bathroom in the English cottage style. Some of the words we've been using to define this style are old world, English cottage, serene, simple, and luxurious. Let's take a look at some of the pictures we've been eyeing. We plan to stick with the blue and white color palette. We're not sure which blue yet. These darker moody blues are more dramatic and unexpected, while the lighter blues are airy and bright. Matt and I both like the large tiles with the soft gray veining. Not only are they classic and timeless, they will be quick to lay and will reduce the amount of grout lines. We're also considering using this gorgeous tile as a wainscoting up the wall edged with a herringbone trim. For a natural element, we would love to lay river pebble in the bottom of the shower, but in a cooler tone with these blues and grays. We found this picture of accent tile to be inspiring. 
What if we put a slender panel of this tile up the back of the shower to create the illusion of height? And what if we used the handcrafted look of mosaic tile in a serene blue? Since we will be removing the back wall in the shower, creating a simple niche storage between the studs would be easy. I'm loving the unified color palette and visual simplicity here, and will be keeping my eye out for pretty soap trays, bottles, and brushes. One of the things I'm hoping we can work into our remodel the most is a pedestal sink. To me, a pedestal sink brings a sense of elegance and luxury with its visual space and clean lines. As I began researching pedestal sinks with their different shapes and styles, I found that it was pretty common that there were issues with proportion. The pedestal sink on the left has a tiny basin and an extra tall base, reminiscent of what you might see in a men's restroom. The pedestal sink on the right is rather squat, with an extra wide basin, making it appear top-heavy. These two pedestal sinks are more proportionate. For the sink on the left, I like the apron back guard that will keep the soaps on the table. For the sink on the right, I like the rounded basin, which would probably work with our shower door space better, and I love the Grecian column base. I realize that replacing our vanity with a pedestal sink will reduce our storage, but where there's a will, there's a way, and I have a couple ideas to compensate for this. First, as you can see from our inspiration picture, a tall slender basket would slide perfectly to one side of the pedestal sink, providing a warm natural element and vintage inspired storage. Second, we could reuse the doors from the vanity to build a custom cabinet and put it where those glass shelves are. The cabinet would be the perfect size to hold those baskets. So it seems to me like this storage idea would be an even swap. What are your thoughts? Do you think this will work? Leave your comments below. Okay, we've talked about space and storage issues. Now it's time for the pretty stuff. Nothing personalizes a space more than a time-worn antique, especially one that has history I have a piece from my childhood that I'm hoping will fit into this remodel. I adore the sleek lines on this vintage-inspired faucet. Perhaps we can find one similar. And I would still like to use some open glass shelving somewhere in the bathroom. The following handful of pictures depicts the vintage storage that I'm considering for this bathroom. They just might be on my thrifting list. Won't it be fun when we go shopping to look for vintage and antique items that we can reimagine for storage? Another way I'm hoping to add a layer of the English cottage style to this bathroom is through vintage textiles. Every bathroom needs a clock and a trash can, so these are on the list as well. And if you ask me, the crowning touch to any room is the artwork. I am hoping to find some old world English cottage style artwork to define and personalize this space. Then there are paint choices. What would you go for, friend? Light and airy? A little bit off and quintessentially English? Or deep, moody and dramatic? Goodness, what a fun visit. I can hardly wait for the next episode where we will tear out walls, part of the ceiling, the floor, and remove the vanity. The tiny bathroom in question is connected to our master bedroom, which during the initial stages of this project has become a construction zone. Does this happen to you where one remodel project ripples over into another? 
I'm so grateful Matt, my husband, goes to great pains to cover everything because we did just paint and re-carpet our bedroom. Since I'm planning to reuse some of these glass shelves, they came out first so they wouldn't get broken. Next, we remove the tile from the shower on the walls and the ceiling, taking it down to the studs. The back wall of the shower is shared with the guest closet, and our goal here is to knock that wall back about six inches. It isn't needed in the guest closet, and it would make the shower so much roomier. Here is the disaster zone. It always gets worse before it gets better. With the back wall removed, you could see directly into the closet from the bathroom. As is to be expected with remodel projects, there's usually a surprise and ours was a plumbing issue. This will mean busting out concrete all the way to the dirt to replace ancient pipe. At this stage of the remodel, in the shower we can see from the dirt below the house up into the attic. The last two things to demo include the drop ceiling over the shower and this floor. We have a lot to do. I hope you will be patient as we work for the next couple weeks on episode two. As promised, here are the materials that we have found so far for remodeling the bathroom. You see the glass shelf that we wanted to save, the accent tile, the herringbone trim tile, and the beautiful river pebble rock. I am so excited to share in our next episode what all these materials look like installed. Goodness, what a fun visit! Now I wonder, are you like me? Do you love watching the remodel process from design to demo to the final tour? If so, then while you're waiting for our next episode on the tiny cottage bathroom remodel, you might enjoy watching our English Cottage Bedroom Remodel Series. I can hardly wait for the next episode in our Tiny Cottage Bathroom Remodel Series where we will install tile, a lot of tile. We'll decide on paint, transform the space, and install an antique or two. If you enjoyed your visit today, subscribe share the video, and leave a thumbs up. Until next time, thanks for coming along and take care. Do you have a cottage? I wish I did.